Hello, and welcome to Test Complete. In this video, we will continue learning how to resolve the object does not exist error. If you have not seen the first and second videos, we recommend that you watch them before continuing watching this one. The previous video shows how to fix errors caused by changes in object properties. Now, let's proceed with the other typical causes. First, we will show you how to fix the object does not exist error caused by changes in the application hierarchy. We will continue working with the web store project that tests an online store application. Look at this test log. The test failed because it was not able to find the object called gray. First, let's examine the test log to check if there are any errors or warnings preceding the object does not exist error. Usually, the very first error in the log corresponds to a problematic test command, and further errors are caused by that first error. If there are preceding errors or warnings in the test log, you should fix them first. In our case, there are no preceding errors. Let's open the details panel of the error message. The gray object was not found because its parent object named color was not found. In the picture panel, we can see that the object was present in the application when the error occurred. To investigate the issue further, double-click the error message in the log to jump to the problematic test command quickly. The error occurred when my test was trying to click the gray object. Let's check if the object exists in the application. To do this, we need our tested application running and being in the same state as when the error occurred. If your tested application was closed after the test run, the easiest way to achieve the needed state is setting a breakpoint to the problematic command and rerunning the test. The test will pause at the breakpoint, in our case, right before the error occurs. Now we can stop the test. As we're examining the application, we can see that the needed object is there. Let's find out why Test Complete cannot find it. We return to the error message and click the View and Change link to view the search criteria that Test Complete uses to find the object. When trying to edit or highlight the object on screen, Test Complete reports that it cannot find the object. When pointing to the object on screen, Test Complete reports that the actual position of the pointed object in the application hierarchy does not match the expected position. This means that the object's position in the hierarchy has changed. Let's close the wizard. It does not allow fixing hierarchy issues. And see how we can fix the hierarchy data manually. First, let's examine the object's position in the application hierarchy as it is stored by Test Complete. To do this, click Find Mapped Object to locate the object in the Mapped Object tree. This tree stores the hierarchy data. The object belongs to the Panel Actions object in the application. Let's compare it with the object's actual position in the application hierarchy. Click this button to call the object spy tool and point to the problematic object in the application. Then click this button to locate the object in the hierarchy structure. We can see that the color object does not belong to the panel actions object. It is a child of the panel variant object. So we're returning to the name mapping repository. Here, we're dragging the object to the proper position. After that, we're removing the breakpoint from the test. We close the running web browser and rerun the test. As you can see, now the test runs successfully, therefore the error is fixed. Now, let's explore one more example. We will see how to fix the error caused by a delay in the application. Look at the test log. The test failed because it was not able to find the chronograph object. It does not have any errors preceding the object does not exist error. So let's start examining the error. We're opening the picture test log panel. As we can see, this time, the object was not actually present in the application. So we are setting a breakpoint on this test command and running the test. Now the application is running and it is in the same state as when the error occurred we can see that the object is there. It seems that initially the error occurred because it took too long for the search page to load the chronograph item. To fix it, we will make a test wait for the page to load its contents completely. We're going to add an operation that will wait for a search page before clicking any items on it. To do this, drag the on-screen action operation from the operations collection to the test and place it before the operation that clicks the chronograph item. Select the needed object. In this case, it's the search page object. And the method to call it is the wait method. 
The added operation will pause the test run before search page. That way all of the contents have a chance to load completely. Remove the breakpoint and close the web browser to start a fresh test run. As we rerun the test, it waits for the page to load. And we can see that this time, the object is found successfully. Therefore, the error is fixed. Before we finish, we would like to highlight some major key points of fixing the object does not exist error. Use the self-healing test run mode and intelligent fix whenever it is possible. Examine images posted to the test log during the run to learn your application state when the error occurred and check if the needed object was present in the application. When troubleshooting the error, have your tested application running and in the same state as when the error occurred. To locate the object's position in the mapped objects tree of the name mapping repository quickly by the object's alias, use the find mapped object command. Okay, this covers the typical cases of the object does not exist error. Let me remind you that this is the third video on this topic. If you have not seen the first and second one, please go back and watch them. If you have any questions, check out our documentation, videos, and online community on our support portal.